Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading for those of you currently single. We're going to find out um, who is coming towards you romantically. Today is the 29th of October 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.12am. Uh, and Virgo, uh, as usual, <laughs> I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo and it's free to subscribe. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted just now. Spirits and angels, please show me for the single Virgos. Um, who is coming towards Virgo romantically? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Ooh, nice. The star. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I see two storylines here, Virgo, so just take what resonates with you. The first one I'm seeing could be someone who sees you as a missed opportunity. You have a separation um, with this person. You've, you're separated from this person or that. That could be trouble in paradise currently. Page of Swords, this person has been uh, spying on you. Libra, Gemini, Chris. This person could also be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And the star possibly wanting to heal this connection with you. And five of cups, they're very sad, disappointed. Perhaps they would like to come and talk to you. Because right now, I do see them watching you, doing well for yourself. Or that maybe you look great. Um, or maybe you just you just some maybe you're just really independent uh, self-sufficient and you've already you know proven that you don't need this person so this person might come back around but it looks like they may not have the courage to come towards you so they may or may not take actions towards you if they do it might take a while there is a delay here but virgo the second storyline would be this is somebody who could be a star okay so I feel like this is some. This person could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Has money, a lot of money, but this person, I feel like they're way too generous. So it probably resulted in people taking advantage of them. They could be someone very, very attractive, or somebody has a lot of money or very influential. Because the star could mean like you know they are the star, like they get a lot of attention. Either for because of their achievement or the way they look or because of their money, whatever it could be. So the Four of Cups, in reverse, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, I feel like this could be somebody very guarded. They have trust issues. They may not be able to trust you or anybody because, again, maybe they've been used before. And Ten of Cups in reverse, possibly because of their past connections file cups with their family or with someone they were romantically connected to it feels like virgo people always disappoint this person and people would always try to return to them as well because they want something from them and the star uh, sorry the strength here is in reverse so i feel like a uh, virgo this is someone who could be like hoping also i feel like they they are very picky yeah they are very picky four of cups in the star they're very picky i don't see this person as somebody who would settle for anything less than what they think they deserve and this is not somebody who is who can easily or will easily um settle down because they are very picky and also because you know um they have to make sure that the person they settle down with is like someone very pure because a star could mean like someone very very pure and someone who ticks a lot of their boxes or someone who's like a, around you know like around their level either as beautiful as they are or as successful as they are or somebody who has as much money as they do 
as kind as they are, as generous as they are, Six of Pentacles here. Virgo, we're going to see a little bit more. Got the Hangman in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, the Devil in reverse. Yeah, I feel like Virgo, this could be somebody whom, you know, where they had a lot of toxic people around them who like to just ask things from them or takes these people always take things from this person hangman in reverse yeah i feel like they see people in a very different perspective like they just don't trust they don't trust people anymore five of swords in reverse you know what i'm also picking up on something else just oh just wait for it, okay? But anyways, Five of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who doesn't like to play mind games, doesn't like to play games in general, doesn't like anything that is toxic, whether it's addiction or smoking cigarettes or drinking alcohol. Or they want someone healthy, someone pure, someone healthy. Three of Wands in reverse, Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Um, Virgo, make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe on the 15th of November. Um next month once a month i'm going to be doing this but on, only on my main channel though okay my main channel is called chelsea love tarot all info is below you can um look for it and subscribe hit on the bell notification button because you wouldn't want to miss that it's just once a month free personal reading but on this channel i'll go live as well but only but it's going to be limited to only members okay so you can join membership as well if you want to you can check out the perks um, just click join and you'll see it. Um, but if you want a more accurate reading, can book me. All info is below. Anyways, back to your reading, Virgo. So the chariot here, this person could be a Cancer, could be a Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Again, can be any sign. So this is somebody very confident. They know what they want. Yeah. And Three of Pentacles. Feels like they're also somebody res well-respected. This person could be, <laughs> this, this is actually an architect, like an architect, an engineer, or they could be involved in con consultancy or building something, could, could be like a contractor as well, but something about building or building businesses, um, cars, involving cars, like their business or their work could be related to cars, transportation, can be anything, okay? But I feel like Virgo, this is someone very, very capable, and I see them also being somebody very hardworking, and they hold a certain position where people look up to them or ask them for uh, consultation, have them con consult them or advice, can be, can be anything, but I feel like... Um, Virgo, maybe when they see you, the star and the nine of pentacles, they feel like you are, like you, you could be their match, okay? However, another storyline I'm seeing, if roles are being reversed, Virgo, this could be someone, like you may be expecting all of these things from someone new, okay? Now, if that's the case, this will be someone new coming in where they will feel like it's very hard to please you or to uh, impress you. You know, they may feel like they're not as established as you are, neither one of us or as, as mature as you are. Looks like it could be younger than you or it could be someone Virgo where you might like, you might suspect them whether you might suspect or wonder if this is somebody who could um, who could commit, okay? Anyways, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. And also make sure you subscribe to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. I already explained on the 15th of November, I'll be giving free personal readings over there, so don't miss it. Take care. Love you, Virgo. Bye.